Maria Dolores Flores Ruiz, otherwise known as Lola Flores, was a Spanish singer, actress, dancer, and businesswoman. Born January 21st, 1923, Flores was the daughter of Pedro Flores Pinto and Rosario Ruiz Rodriguez. Her father owned a bar and her mother worked making clothes. She learned to dance with Maria Pantoja and to understand flamenco with Sebastian Nunez. She made her debut at 16 with the Custodia Romero come in the Villa Marte Theater of Jerez de la Frontera. Shortly after leaving Jerez for Madrid, she rose to fame and soon signed the most expensive contract of the time, which launched her career and touring throughout Latin America. Lola Flores was an icon of traditional Andalusian folklore and recognized throughout Spain as well as internationally. She became a famous dancer and singer of Andalusian folklore at a very young age, performing flamenco, copla, and chotis, and appearing in films from 1939 to 1987. She also took part in 38 films, making her debut in 1939 as an actress with the film Martin Gala. Eventually, Lola and her boyfriend at the time, Manolo Caracol, became proper business owners, and together they produced two movies, El Embrujo in 1947 and La Niña de Venta in 1951. In 1951, the professional and sentimental separation of the couple started, and they eventually stopped working together. In 1958, she married Antonio González El Pescaía, a gypsy guitarist from Barcelona, and had three children, singer and actress Lolita Flores, rock musician, singer, and actor Antonio Flores, and singer and actress Rosario Flores. Lola participated in different TV programs throughout her life. Sometimes she sang, others she danced, and others she competed, and in others she was just interviewed. When private channels were introduced in Spain in the 90s, Lola took advantage and started to present her first TV program. She began to make use of this facet, but it would soon end because of her death. She died May 16, 1995, at her residence, situated in La Moraleja, municipality of Alcobendas, Madrid, at the age of 72, due to breast cancer that had been diagnosed in 1972. If you enjoyed this video and learning a little bit about Lola Flores, hit the like button and check out the Recorded Sound Archives website, where you can listen to one early recording by this Latino musician. We hope you enjoyed celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, and if you did, follow us on social media and, and join us as we delve into a little music history for Halloween and LGBTQ history for the rest of this month. <laughs> Thank you.